The state called two witnesses today against Anderson, both investigating officers from the United County Sheriff's Department. Based on their testimony, Judge Bloom found reason for the trial to proceed. District Attorney Michael Sheet called Detective Sergeants Robert Haben and Timothy Gensler to outline the discovery of Hannah Miller's body on June 30th and the investigation immediately after, including witness statements. Cross-examination from the defense focused on the gap in time between the witnesses first seeing two people and ultimately discovering Miller's body. There was a vehicle, a white SUV, parked in the lane of traffic. He commented that he had to actually go around it to get past it. Saw a black male and a white female standing in the opposite ditch line. Gensler testified more about his interview with Seth Wakefield, Anderson's alleged accomplice in stalking and planning Miller's murder. Detailing in part a call Wakefield says he received from Anderson after Miller's death. Do you know what did Mr. Wakefield say Mr. Anderson said to him? My recollection of what Mr. Wakefield said was something to be affected that things didn't go as planned and that Mr. Anderson would be in the run for a period of time. Defense attorney Anderson moved for the case's dismissal, but Judge Bloom denied that motion based on the testimony presented. The defense also brought up Wakefield's mental condition, asking Gensler about Wakefield during their interview. Maybe a little bit eccentric, but certainly lucid and was able to have a conversation with us for several hours. Seth Wakefield will be back in court next week. Reporting from the United County Courthouse, I'm Cooper Heinkel.